Do it. It's gonna be Mega Man versus Shulk. Three, two, one, go! So I don't really uh, can't speak too much on this uh, matchup. Shulk is not exactly very common, uh, nor is Me Mega Man. I'm uh, kind of struggling to figure out what to really comment on it. Well, I just got the tweet out, so now I can pay more attention to it. Seems that we're going fairly even though in these percentages. Uh, I know that Echo Sean was the one who got the first kill, uh, but. Uh, Peepro able to return in kind. Going pretty even right now. Peepro with uh, stage control. Solid edge guard. Ooh, like the parry on the up B and then knocking him off with the flame. Almost was able to get the spike, but jumped past the platform. So, uh, platform blocked the, the down air. Oh, all right. Echo Sean in an edge guard situation. Uh, keeping Peepro off uh, in Smash Monado. Ooh, any, uh, anyone could die right now. Boom. All right. Uh, the weak forward smash. Uh, okay, careful. Boom. All right. Forward air going to take Peepro off the side. Now Okashan in a position to... To really establish a, a really solid lead here, but you know, a pretty high percent, so not out the realm of possibility for people to take the stock and even it up and does it, knocks him far enough where Jisekoshan wasn't able to come back. I think he couldn't go and jump Monado. I don't know. Regardless, super even percents here on this last stock coming down to it. Pepro with an edge guard situation. Nope, loses it. Actually, doesn't lose too much of the pressure. Up, the falling up air, falling forward air is gonna knock him off. Echo uh, maintaining stage center. We got an edge guard situation here. Right now, Echo is keeping pretty good stage control. Not really, just not overextending. Ooh, the runoff there gonna do it. Pretty good showing from both of them. Uh, Echo Sean gonna be taking game one. See those replays. All right, so the the first two stocks I missed doing the the social medias. So let's see what happened here. Okay, so fair. All right. Okay, so he basically lost his uh, people lost his first two stocks the same way. And then uh, people are returning kind very swiftly. Boom. Yep. Yeah, why didn't he just switch? Maybe he just thought he could make it back. Was he out of Jump Monado? Maybe. Three, 
All right. Going to uh, Battlefield for Peepro's counter pick. And on the uh, Mega Man stage to add to it. Reaching the end of this first stock here. Uh, right now, people are with a slight percentage lead, but right now we're in the position where anyone could die. But Pepro is going to get it, taking the first stock. This is a good position to be in, especially on a stage like Battlefield. Uh, you have the runaway factor and larger uh, blast zones, using the platforms to really just uh, be really hard to catch. And honestly, Mega Man, you know, not the lightest character, so 80 damage, uh, he, he's got some, he's still got some life left in him, you know, unless we see some, oh boy. Uh, yeah, unless we see uh, some, like, edge guard situation uh, take the stock, I, I don't really see any other way. And, whoa, almost gonna do it. Not enough, though. Coming back. All right, nice. I like the roll to just, like, Get center if you got hit, but gonna scoop him up. Still not gonna be enough. What did I tell you? Uh, Mega Man kinda, kinda chunky. Smash. All right, I like the retreat to get away from the Smash Monado, but uh, unfortunately, just too much pressure from Echo Sean. Uh, Pipro was kind of in a precarious situation, but not, you know, losing the stock, but uh, still building a fairly solid lead. Ooh. Uh, able to break through the like the Buster combo with up tilt and just erasing that stock now. Uh, Pebro with a full lead. Really good position to take this second game here. Uh, but can he lock it in? Will we see a game three? Really just going to depend on how Okoshan is, uh, is able to deal with the this sort of a, a adversity being behind. Uh. Yeah, right now Pepro is definitely just playing the Mega Man strengths, just like harassing and just like being hard to catch, and really just taking advantage of just where he can go on these platforms on Battlefield. And I like he's using up tilt uh, to land on the platform, just making it even harder to like punish those moves. Wow, actually high profiling the forward smash with the up tilt. Oh, all right, Pepro with a two stock for game two, coming back with vengeance. Boom, yeah. Yeah, and so like here we're gonna see uh, Pepro put into a situation where Echo Sean is just able to capitalize and take a make a kill happen. Uh, but you know, not without Pepro able to tack on some pretty good damage. And here we're gonna see that the uh, that Buster combo break. Boom! Putting Pepro in a really good position and just it was too much catch up for uh, for Echo Sean to, to make back. And just uh, just kind of miss spacing there, uh, punishing the uh, the whiff up smash and just eating an up tilt for it. Why go for the grab?
All right, let's see where we're going. Three, two, one, All right, to FD. <laughs> I like how they're just counterpicking to like their game's theme. So we had the Wily Castle counterpick from Peepro into uh, the Xenoblade counterpick. All right, uh, Peeper with a super strong lead right now. Ooh, oh my, gonna be taking uh, stock really early with a back air, only taking 20 damage. It is basically even now with a full stock lead for Peeper. This is a great position to be in. Mega Man is a really uh, obnoxious character to deal with when he's in the stock lead because you just have to play catch up against him and he just has like a flurry of uh, hitboxes and attacks all projectiles as well, all very disjointed, uh, where like he, he can be uh, quite a task to surmount, uh, you know, turning it around. And just like that, you know, lapping in percent already, uh, Echo Sean really has his work cut out for him. Pete Bro uh, doing a fantastic job. Throwing in a taunt, getting grabbed, deservingly so. Uh... Oop, all right, careful. Oh, my. That was a really weird interaction. <gasps> oh, my lord! Pete Bro has been in the lab. Stringing all these uh, moves together. Fantastic play. Now a two-stock lead. Echo Sean, you got to make something happen here, man. Just the harassment that Pebro is putting on, quite a show. Great play uh, being shown from him right now. Finally, gonna do, uh, he didn't, uh, so he got forced into the, the, the leaf shield throw. You know, once it's out long enough, Mega Man will just auto throw it and he wasn't far enough away. Uh, so he just kind of threw it point blank on his shield against his own will and just ate an up smash for it. So, you know, is that the path that Echo Sean is able to clear to uh, work on this comeback? Maybe, you know, but he's in a really tough situation already at 90 damage on his last stock here. Pete Pro still at a, a mid two stock, but this edge guard might be what it takes, and it is! All right, Echo Sean actually, fantastic job evening it up, but still at quite a percentage deficit. Let's see what can happen. Up oh, the the forward smash edge guard, keeping it going. This harassment, it's over. Wow, really just dominating play by Pro in the driver's seat the entire time. Uh, good job to him advancing over Echo Sean, two one. I don't know if there's a winner's round three or he might be making it into winner's quarters, but yeah, really good stuff uh, for Pro. Wow. My man's got that download and just kept the harassment play. That first stock is so crucial versus Mega Man because he is just so, like, obnoxious to approach. Like, the harassment that he is uh, capable of doing to people. My lord. Testing, testing. Hello, hello. And, uh, yeah. Just look at that. Yeah, that was like almost like maybe a glimmer of hope for Echo Sean. And then here's where things really were starting working out. That, you know, eight has jumped dead. Uh, the air dodge wasn't able to come back. It was like, okay, I can do this. I can make something happen. But just, uh, people just wouldn't uh, relent. Boom. Good stuff to Pete, bro.